Hello, I want to tell you about installing a new theme in your Dru for your Drupal website. <clears throat> there are loads of free themes available. So, your web design is called a theme. Good quality themes are available for free at drupal.org slash project slash themes. Your web designer can quickly change the colours, logo and the content of layout blocks in a theme, making it look completely different from the original. So if you see a theme that you like, but you just the bits and bats you don't like about it, it's easily changed. I want a new theme, so here is what I do. Go to Drupal.org Project Themes. Find a theme I like that works with my version of Drupal. I download that theme unzip it, <coughs> upload it using FTP to my web space where Drupal 7 is already installed. You can't use a Drupal theme on a website that doesn't have Drupal. You've got to install Drupal on your web space before you can use a Drupal theme. These are just some uh, screenshots of themes, some free th popular free themes. I'm going to use this one in the middle here, but th these are all popular themes and they're all free. Now these yellow blocks are called blocks and they're places you can put different pieces of content. So if you have some small lists you could put one, two, three there. It's a very popular place to put little lists of links. Um, you might want to put your um, byline or something like that at the bottom here. Um, and this is called a search area, but you don't have to put a search in a search box there. You can put, you know, other things if you want. Um, so there are all different places that you can put things on your website, different locations to put content. Now we're going to start off with something that looks like this. This is the Drupal 7 base theme. It's the one that came in, installed as standard when I installed Drupal. I just installed Drupal so this video. And this came as standard with the standard installation. From looking similar to this, to looking similar to this. Now this top thing is the slider. You, you've probably seen it on the internet. They slide across the page, and then another image and some more text comes and slide across. Um, it's a bit tricky setting this up, so I'm going to make another video how to set up just this top box. So today we're just going to install the theme and then I'm going to make another video showing you how to change it so that you can have your picture here and your words here so it doesn't say sample product it's, it'll say whatever your product is so we're going to end up today with something that looks like this and it will only take us a few minutes so let's get started right first to, to install my new theme first I I've got to download the theme I like, once I've found one at drupal.org, I download the theme that I like. I've got it on my desktop, and first of all I've got to log on to my web space using FTP and upload the, um, the new theme. Now the, these are the files and folders you'll see inside your web space when you've got Drupal installed on your uh, on your web space. If you're using Drupal, you'll have all these files and folders. You want to look for sites, and then there's all or default. Choose all, then choose themes. So we've come from sites. Now there's a themes there. Don't put it in there. That's the wrong one. Start off with sites, all themes and then the theme I'm using is corporate clean and we'll put that in there it is I've just dragged it in or you can upload it using FTP right it's possible that you might have to make this this um, this folder yourself it's, it might be there already and you might have to just add a new folder in there so if you do it's in all Site, all themes, and our new theme we put in there. Right, let's have a look. This is what we're going to start with. So, what have I done so far? I've dragged my um, 
my new theme into the Drupal web space. Now I'm going back to my website using a web browser and making sure that I'm logged in. <coughs> Pardon me. So here we are, back on my website using a web browser. Username, password, login. There we are. Right, first I click the appearance tab, this tab here. And this shows the themes we've got. Now this is the one we've got already. It's called Bartik. That's comes standard with Drupal. It's one that was installed when I installed a um, set up Drupal on this computer. This is what I want to use called Corporate Clean. So, now then, usually I've, I've installed this before and that's why it, it should say um, enable and set as default. It just says here set as default. So click the button that says set as default. See, so usually we'll say that enable and set as default. So if we go back here, this is the one we want. Enable and set as default. Now we've got to save our changes. Always save your changes. Save configuration. Now when we go back. Oh, look at that. Just a few clicks of the mouse. And the, ch the look has changed completely. See what it looks like now. This is what it looked like just a few minutes ago. So, with just a few clicks, it's changed quite a lot. Right. What we're going to do... I'll just show you the slider at the top of the page. Now, this, when you install yours, it'll be turned on already. The only reason it wasn't turned on is because I installed it to practice on the... <laughs> now, here we go. Now, if you look there... This, this will slide across the page. Now, um, it takes a bit more setting that up. We, we've installed the, the, the theme now, it's done. But this, this takes a bit more setting up. And so if you want your pictures there, and your words here, we can do that. I'm going to do that in the next video. But basically, that, that theme is now set up. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you how to disable this because you might not know how to um, how to uh, change the pictures and the words. It might think, oh no, I want that theme, but it, it looks daft. It's got somebody else's stuff at the top of it. So, what you need to do, you need to go back to the settings by clicking Appearance. Click the theme that you've enabled, which is this one, Corporate Claim. Click Settings. And just click that front page slideshow. Slot, you've got to scroll to the bottom. Front page slideshow. Disable it. Click the save button. And there it is. It's gone. It only appears on the front page because, <laughs> although they do look nice, these sliders, they tend to annoy your customers. Uh, but people want them. Pe people who buy websites want to have a slider. Although the, the, the people who look at websites quite often don't want to have a slider. Anyway, that, that is just simply how easy it is to change the look and feel of your site. But, make sure you back up your website before you install anything. Well, do any major changes. Certainly before you install a new thing, back up your website. There's a good module called Backup and Migrate, which helps you to um, back up your website easily. Um, uh, you can do it with uh, PHP management. Um, don't forget when you back up your website, back up your database and your your uh, site files folder. Um, we'll log out and see how the end user will see it. This is a bit scrunched up. It's the only way I can fit it on this screen, I'm afraid. But basically, if you look at that, look at this. It's changed quite a lot with just a few clicks of the mouse, just a few minutes work, and we've changed it quite a lot. Well, I hope you found that useful. If you want to know how to change this slider, uh, pop back and I'm going to make another video about that, so you'll be able to see that too. Thanks for watching. Bye.